If you're looking for the next I-bond inflation rate, you've come to the right place. I believe it's going to be somewhere around 3%. There's a range of 2 to 4.5%, but I think it'll be right around 3%. And I'm going to show you how we came up with that because it's important to know how is the inflation rate for the I-bonds, how is that coming together? And a big difference is that when you're hearing inflation is a certain percentage, that's the 12 month numbers. Yet the inflation rate for the I bonds, that's a six month number. So you got here, uh, September of last year is when the I bond number was used to create the November inflation rate. Inflation's fairly high, seven, eight, nine percent you're hearing. How come it's only six and a half percent that it's showing there? Well, that's because it's using six month numbers and the articles. Everyone's talking about 12 month numbers. Here we are in March of this year, which is when the I bond rate was being used. Uh, the CPIU index was being used to create that I bond inflation rate starting in May. And it came in at 3.4. People said 3.4. How is it so low when inflation is four, five, six percent at the time? Well, uh, those higher dollar amounts, those higher percentages, or just what you're reading in the headlines with the, the news that's out there. So here we are halfway through. It's only six months of time frame from March of 23 uh, to September of 23 that's going to determine the November I-bond inflation rate. So we've got to start here with that March number, the CPIU, it's 301.836. That's the end point for the last inflation number, the beginning point for this new one. And you've got April, May, and June have been showing up. You can tell I've been tracking it on uh, where things are at. Uh, and it's interesting. So right now you take the three months, we're halfway there. And you can do it two different ways. One way says, let's look at the monthly inflation. If it's been a certain amount every month for three months, let's just assume it continues on for the next three months. That's this projected number on there. Uh, but then let's look at the flat amount. What's it at right now? If there's no more inflation, the next three months, where is it at? So you see the projection is about 4.4. The flat amount is about 2.2. And what's so interesting, I, I think it's going to be somewhere in between. The main reason why is you look historically, inflation the first six months of the year is historically drastically higher than inflation the second six months of the year. Well, here we are. We're using some numbers from the first three months of the year. We're going to start showing up with some numbers in the second three months of the year. So at this point, halfway through the six months, the projection is somewhere between 2.2 and 4.4. I'm calling it in the middle because you got to go with something. It's looking like right around 3% is where the I-bond inflation rate might be. But who knows? We're three months in on six months number. Pay attention and subscribe to Retirement Revealed. We'll be updating you monthly about I-bonds, inflation, and all things retirement.